Welcome on people, it's Mr. Dog back again with a preview show. I hope, I hope everyone's fit and well. And yes, Nottingham Forest are back in action, the league action, this time away to Cardiff. If you are new to the channel, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you know, and comment below people, what's your score predictions for tomorrow's game? Before we do start, like I said, if you want to ask any questions for yourself, I'm going to guess next to me, put like I said, put in the comments below. And as well, if you, if you want to be a member, Link the link below as well, and if you do a super, if you want to do a super chat as well, go and support my channel as well. Right, I've got a special guest, and um, he's been here all right uh, before the season started as well under Hooten, and he's back again, and he's back again again. Nathan, how you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you, Ben. I gotta be honest, it's a lot different to the last time that uh, I was on the <laughs> channel, of course. You guys were absolutely shocking. We were doing well. How the tables have turned, but all I can say is, gotta love hearing the Mullican tie before coming on. Absolutely love it. Thanks for having me on once again. No worries. But like I said, we've got a lot to talk about. But but before we do start, I've got a member, uh, a new member. Sorry, uh, thank you very much, e Sense, for being a member of the channel. Respect for that. And as well, if anyone wants to be a member, link is below. And, and please do. But I say respect for you for being a member. And can you message me on Twitter or Instagram and so I can say thank you personally. Right, Nathan, before we do start back tomorrow's game, let's talk about the game we played at City Ground. And like I said, you, me personally, like I didn't go to the game because I had COVID. Yeah. Talk about the game, like in your opinion. Well... It reminds me of better times, to be honest. Uh, absolutely quality 2-0 win in the reverse fixture. i got to be honest, Forest, my favourite away day in the Championship. By an absolute mile. The atmosphere, just something... Oh, where's it Where's it gone? Hang on, I'm trying to uh, get the stats <laughs> back. I wasn't prepared for this, guys, yet. 2-1 victory at first when that Lewis grab and goal went. And, of course, I, I was starting to get a bit sceptical because our form was starting to dip a little bit as well. I thought... Hewton had us once again, but coming back around with our youngster, Ruben Colwell, scoring two dude. goals, just spectacular. Still can't get over the fact that he's younger than me. Um, but yeah, really well-deserved grind-out victory in the end. Our fans pushed us over the line. Um, and yeah, if only it could be just as good as those times, but I'm sure we'll be back. And in a way, <laughs> that was the downfall, for unfortunately, for Chris Hewton. But bringing in Steve Cooper... That's really driven you on a lot, and fair play. That's all I'll say. That, that's why, but I think later on in the show, I will, I will talk to Nathan about uh, Boris' opinion. Like I said, I always like to talk about, but rather we'll talk about our club, uh, but that's something I'm going to talk about in the show. Um, Nathan, I, before we came on, I was talking about your club, and actually, like you beat us 2 1. You got rid of, um, what's his name? Mick uh, McCarthy. McCarthy. Mick McCarthy, but what the hell? Has been happening with your club? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I thought we were bad, but wow! <laughs> Talk to me, man. Yeah, this is this is the next level of shambles. Honestly, what happened was I think it all started under the McCarthy. Uh, well, towards the end of his reign, playing five centre backs. What's all that about? McGuinness, Flint, Morrison, slow, 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 slow. Uh, I think personally, for me. Uh, the biggest insult was losing that 3-0 to the Jacks down at the uh, what Swansea.com, whatever you call it. Absolutely embarrassing, disgraceful. Um, just no respect at all there. And to be honest, I think the bigger insult was that he wasn't sacked after that game. Yeah, I know it's bad as anyone losing their job and everything, but in that scenario, losing 4-0 to West Brom, then losing 3-0 to the Jacks, then losing 2-0 straight after that to Middlesbrough, Toxic atmosphere, sacked in the morning chance. He ends up going. Steve Morrison comes in. What a mammoth task he had. Started off pretty well, really revolutionising the style of play. But we started to hit a little bit of a bump again, uh, especially with the defensive issues we've got. I know Bristol City losing 3-2. They've done the double over us. That's just embarrassing. Um, I have no blame for our midfields or our forwards going through that. Our defence was just an absolute shambles yet again in that one. No wins in six, but... For me personally, that is no way me going at Steve Morrison because I just know that that squad really lacks depth and is not good enough. It's good to see the likes of Doherty coming in today. Looks like we'll have Jordan Hugh coming in from Norwich on loan, which I'd say is good for our squad depth as well. But personally, is, he, is, he, is he playing? Is he playing tomorrow? Do you know, I've, I've seen it today. 
Yeah, I, it came out today, but I'm not sure if he's been registered in the squad in time. So I hope, I I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> he's good. He's good <laughs> Come on, Nick. He's great. He is great, to be fair. And it's good to see that NG will be moved out of his natural position, position because we've got Cody Dramer in on loan. Of course, we had Ryan Jevels originally from that, putting in some beautiful set pieces up there with the set pieces as well. But of course, he got loan, well, recalled by Wolves, which, I mean, these things happen, I guess, at this level. But uh, yeah. Hopefully Doherty on the one side, Dromer on the other. That's superb going forward. Just need that centre-back to come in for us. A bit of pace, either that or us to move away from that back five system. But in my opinion, Steve Morrison until the end of the season. And I don't understand why people are saying that he's got to go for me because it's such a hard job to do. Hmm. Um, I was just saying this, this comment from um, Gary Matt. How you doing, Gary? Gary's taking me to the game tomorrow, so shout out to Gary. Give him more. And um, when I saw this... I was like, wow, because he's, he's always a threat against Forrest. And oh, yeah. That, are you good that he's not playing tomorrow? Or, um, in a way, yes, in a way, no, mainly because he's been out for well, he's been out most of the season actually, uh, coming off the back of a really good Euros with Wales, uh, needed that rest, ended up getting injured a few times. He's currently got an ankle injury, uh, which uh, when was which one was that? I believe he uh, it was at West Brom away that he uh did the ankle, but he's had COVID a few times in between then as well, close contacts and all that. Um, mm. So in a way, I don't think he'll be too much of a loss for us, but it has shown us a lot this season that we need the likes of James Collins, youngster Mark Harris, Ruben Colwell, who you know well, of course, coming in um, to the side. And not only that, if we can get Hugel in at some point, he obviously won't be there tomorrow. But if we can get him through, then I think we'll be just about fine this season. Just need to, need to be gels and we need a big summer coming up against ahead of us considering the amount of players that are out of contract, which just going to the end of the season, really, to be honest, guys. Are, are you, like, you mentioned Morrison, like, um, you, like your manager, like, are you are you happy for him to stay at the end of the season? Because I was looking at the league table and it's not looking good at all for you lot, man. We're not. Uh, yeah, I, I completely agree on that. And personally, under any other manager, I think we could be in a lot worse position. Pers controversial opinion, but if we still had McCarthy now, we would be bottom below Barnsley. Uh, is, that but, is, that, is that Chris Hooton to be fair like, like I said when I spoke to you beforehand and I was you I was <laughs> you depressed exactly so, <laughs> I know it's a turn it's weird it, that's how football turns man. it's weird how that time I speak to me from we lost before the game I was depressed I think as you five fans as well we was, we was like Hooton needs to go and now look at Nathan he's depressed I'm laughing not, just, not, <laughs> not in a disrespectful way Nathan but, Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I said, um, let's carry on. I was like, you are, I know you've been playing poor, but there must be one player that you've been impressed with so far since we played with you. Oh, absolutely. Um, Ruben Colwell coming in and out of the side, of course, who, well, did score two goals at the City Grounds. He's been up there for us as well. McGuinness, youngster coming in from Arsenal. Yes, he did have a really poor seven-side derby early in the week, but he's been solid most of the season as well. Tommy Doyle coming in from Manchester City, really adding the creative spark. Yes, he, he's only played for one game, but coming over time, I think he is going to be a class addition for the side as well. Uh, Dramer has had some good games uh, coming in as well. So there's a lot to look forward to as well. But at the same time, we sort of need to hibernate till the end of the season now. Get all players out of contract at the out of the club. Their time is sort of done and then rebuild for next year. Mm. Uh, before I do, Karen, I, I've got a super chat. And this is from Isaac White. Thank wow. you very much for the £5. Much, much appreciate for that. Uh, your videos cheer me up so much and I love watching your quality vlogs. Up the rest. Um, you know what? Thank you very much for that, Isaac. Much appreciate for giving that £5 to me. Um, like I said, if you can message me on Instagram or Twitter, please do. But like, thank you very much for doing this as well. If anyone wants to do a super chat, support the channel, please do. But like I said, love, love and that. Yeah, Isaac. Um, like I said, let's talk about Forest and there's a question for you. Um, I said, where, where is it? From small my super chat. So, uh, where is it? Uh, what this is for you, Nathan? How do college fans view Steve Cooper? Because I know X Swansea <laughs> fan and all that. Uh, but talk to me, man. What do you think of Steve Cooper so far? Personally, I'm sort of a neutral to him because, of course, um, I don't know whether a lot of people know this, but his dad's actually a Cardiff fan because yep. uh, he's a referee and everything. Um, and to be honest, looking at his press conferences, the way he reacted uh, within South Wales Derby's press conferences, 
never really disrespected us as the opponent. Yes, he was siding with Swansea, of course. Well, he was their manager at the time, but never the disrespect in particular, like we've, well, sort of seen with Russell Martin in a way as well. Um, not only that, we actually did beat that side uh, last season as well. So, I, to be honest, I, I, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of him, of course, because he has managed Swansea, but... Yeah, he's absolutely no way some of the the opinion I have of some of the former Swansea managers or even current ones, Russell Martin and all that. And to be honest, I have massive respect for what he's done at Forest. Mm. Like I said, since we played you, like we've been like I think it's we're on form wise, we're second in the league. Beautiful. What 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 players are you scared of? Because as you know, as you people know. Last time I went to Cardiff, we beat you 1 0. Um, if you want to watch that vlog, make sure you watch it after the second show. Because, I've got, as you know, there's a second show after this. We're talking about, you know, who's Jack Valio. But, um, yeah, we love going to a club. We just got, I think we beat you. No, we beat you last, week, last season, didn't we? 1 0. Yes. Little Jimmy. Yeah, little Jimmy G. <laughs> Listen to me. Right. I'm fine, fine. Like I said, comment below. What's your predictions for tomorrow? Um, what player like have you been in? Have you been impressed with um, so far? Before? I'm a Welsh what, boy, what? so it's gone. I, it's gonna be for me, Brennan Johnson by far. Um, Lewis Graben once again, standard, solid championship player. He's been superb as well. James Garner, well, excellent, of course, in the middle of the park there as well. Uh, bringing in Steve Cook from uh, Bournemouth, I believe it was another great addition to the side. Lots of dangerous. Uh, lots of dangerous forest players that we really need to look out for going forward as well. Because I got to be honest, likes of Brendan Johnson, Lewis Graben as well, coming up against the likes of Aidan Flint, Curtis Nelson. Oh, I hate Flint. <laughs> Flint. He, he, he's annoying. I hate Flint. He's one of the players like you always see. He's, he's always there. Like when, it, when, it, when it's corners as well, I think oh, I'm worried. But I'm not worried though because we've got a good defence. And you mentioned Steve Cook. Steve Cook will deal with him. I'm not worried no more. <laughs> because we've been we've been to twice now. We've beat one nil twice. So I'm confident. But that's that's a different show we talk about. <laughs> um let's talk about like I said, um you struggling you're struggling in the bottom half, but yeah. are you are you confident that you'll um get out of it? But plus plus with with the transfer window as well, like you need to, do you need players? That's the most important. Do you need players? Well, oh, 100%. We absolutely <laughs> need a centre-back or two. Um, it's good that we're using the loan market well and that Vincent Tan is trying his best, considering a lot of the financial situations, the court cases, all the stuff going off um, off the pitch at the moment. But good to see that the back is still there, him using the loan market as well. But we don't need it going forward for me. We really need to reinforce that defence because at the end of the day, defence wins you games. Defence wins you titles. Um, going uh, with... We have some of the one of the worst defenses in the league, scoring conceded. Well, I mean, conceding millions of goals at this rate. And if we don't reinforce that, then we're going to be in deep trouble. But get that reinforced, getting the key players going in, moving forward as well, uh, like we have been with likes of Tommy Doyle, getting the creativity in there. I think we'll be just about fine, but it's going to be a fifteenth, sixteenth for me if if we even do get lucky. But yeah, I mean, another thing that we got, I got to add to that is if it won for the points deductions, we'd already be in the relegation zone. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, this question for you, Nathan, from the True Red. Um, Nathan, do you feel if Pete Brott and Derby can pick up form, you could get relegation to League One? It's really concerning for me, especially how good Derby have been as well. I mean, we've all, we got to play them twice at some point. And... Nathan, 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 they're not playing great. Please don't, on the show, you're not allowed to say they're playing great. They've not been playing great. We beat them. Do you know that? That's true. Yeah, you did beat That's them. What, I thought well, I'd get well. it out there. If there's any Derby fans out there, we beat you. Nathan, carry on. But yeah, the reason I, the reason I was sort of saying that is because they're in better form than us as well. So it does concern me. It, it is a massive banana skin as well for us, but i got to be honest, <laughs> it, <laughs> anything can happen in the championship. And, you know, I, d I don't even want to think about getting relegated to League One at the moment because it is, I don't want to be negative or whatever, but we will end up like your Sunderlands, your Ipswiches, your Boltons. We will be there for years considering the condition that we're in at the moment. Um, there's, there's 79 people in. People, like I said, if you are on the channel, 
please do hit the like button please hit like it's a massive help to my channel uh, subscribe if you're new as well i am 250 away from 6k that'd be amazing if i can get to 6k by the end of the season so if you're new any 28 people who's not subscribed please do hit the subscribe button and as well if anyone's got a question for nathan regarding cardiff and if any first questions as well put them as well and as well after this show i've got to say to you i've got another show that starts at quarter to ten um, I've got a Olympiacos fan, and you know what we're going to talk about, Jack Cavalio. So we have got a Olympiacos fan, and I've got uh, Lee and uh, the Forest guy as well. Um, and, there's, uh, and that stops at quarter to um, ten. So please, after this show, go and watch it. Um, Nathan, I said, um, Forest, like we've got a good record at yours. Like, are you are you nervous by tomorrow? I am actually, believe it or not. Um, it's actually our first game as well down at the City Stadium since the 4th of December. Uh, so it should really it? be... Yes. Uh, wow. With all COVID, um, behind closed doors and everything. So it'll be great to be back there. Uh, I I don't think it... It, it won't be toxic at all, but um, it'll be good to see our fans coming together as well, considering some of the events of this week with Kevin McNaughton getting uh, the point across and everything. Uh, but... I'm just hoping for a good turnout as well and that we get given a good performance because, yeah, it's. I don't think it's going to be pretty and it's, yeah, it, a lot, not looking forward to it, to be honest, but fingers crossed. Oh, wow, he's, he's not... It's weird. It's, 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 look, Forest fans, and can you remember? It's weird because when I... Like I said, sure, as I said, I was in Nathan's shoes mm. and talking like this, and now... It's weird because now I'm jolly because if we, if we beat Cardiff tomorrow, we're in the playoffs. And I'm Incredible. saying it. We've been in the playoffs. And this is what Steve Cribb has done to us. So, all boys fans, it's, it, put a comment below. How are you feeling? This win could get us in the playoffs. Um, right. Two more questions. Um, now, I think I've mentioned it already. Like, it's not been great. But do you think you'll stay up? Yes. Simple as that. I I, I, well, I don't even want to think about League One because of all the, well, the disastrous situations that we're going to be in. But as far as I'm concerned, we have enough. And considering the other teams in the league as well, Derby points deduction, you have the, well, Peterborough not doing well, Barnsley are just completely atrocious. Reading absolutely destroyed again today. All the results that went in our favour today. I think that's going to happen for most of the season. And yeah, I think we will be safe. Only just though, we'll still be in that relegation battle. It'll be anywhere between 12, no, uh, 20th and 15th for me, for us. Wow. People in the comments, what do you think about Cardiff? I mean, first one, this is in Cardiff for Zanz as well. Comment below, do you think Cardiff will stay up? Like, personally, think, I personally think they will because they've got, they've got a good side. They've got Kiefer Moore as well. He's a good striker. Like, I'm surprised he's not gone in the tougher window. So, yeah. people like, people in the comments, what do you think about them? Um, I think Cardiff will stay up. I personally think we will, but hopefully we we'll back you tomorrow and then after you can do it on a good run because I don't care. Um, <laughs> um, right, last but not least, like Nathan, um, what's your score prediction? I never back us to lose, but at the same time, I can't see us winning. 1-1 one, one draw. Wow. He's going for 1-1. One, one. People in the comments, what do you think? Do you think we will 1-1? One, one? I, 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 people know me. I don't do my score predictions till the what's that kick off four o'clock. I don't do my score predictions from till three o'clock, so I'm not doing my predictions that people. Um, before, <laughs> before I do another, another super chat from yet again, that's good. Get door to sit, more smash and lighter buttons. Thank you for two pounds yet again, my friend. Much love again. Uh, but I said, people, if you like to do some chat, you can. Um, before we go, like I said, Nathan has got a YouTube channel, and then like I said, um. I do like to promote other YouTube channels. I did, I did promote a channel last time, but like I said, whoever mm -hmm. comes from a channel, promote the channel. Nathan, before we do go, promote your channel. Get it out there. Yeah, just NWM, those three letters. Uh, I believe link in description below. I rant about Cardiff a lot. Do the match. Day <laughs> this the right, this one, I, see, I saw the, um, oh, what vlog was it? No, right, no. The, the, I see this, was it game, was it Stoke? The 3-3, three, yeah. three, that vlog was mad. <laughs> that one was mad. I think it was three no down, and it was three three. And I see the the Bristol City one as well. Like yeah. that 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 derby is mad, isn't it? The derby, oh, it's like, crazy. It is crazy, people. But yeah, people, the link is below. Please go subscribe to Nathan. Like I said, people, any football fan comes in here, got a YouTube channel, podcast, Legends. a lot. Please go go subscribe. Right, people. Before I do go, like I said, 
I've got another one starts at uh, court to court to ten. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go in a minute. Come back. It's gonna be a fantastic show. I'm be talking about Zyanka Valio with a Liv Miyakos fan. So, like I said, you've got another another half an hour. Get a little break, a little rest. Then please come on. It's gonna be a fantastic show. Like I said, I've got Lee. I've got Matt. Most of the fans coming on the channel as well. Before I go, like I said, people, I promoted Nathan. One more time for me. If you do like, if you're not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I'm close to 6k. Like as well. And as well, people, I will be heading to Cardiff tomorrow. I'll be going with, there's, there's lots of us going tomorrow. And I got there's no, quite a lot of Forest fans from Wales as well that I'll be meeting as well. But yeah, I can't wait. I love going to Cardiff because we're back here all the time. So, but yeah, people, <laughs> thank you for coming. And like I said, people, I'll see you at quarter to 10. Nathan, thank you very much for coming on the, on the channel. Thanks for having me on, Dory. It's been an absolutely amazing. And fingers crossed. The time will change tomorrow, but who knows at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> uh, but like I said, people, like I said, I'll see you in half an hour's time. It's going to be a great show. Peace, love, people. And where did even? Up the reds. No. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, love.